Hey everyone, welcome back to new series of Python. So in this video, we will be discussing more regarding variables. So in previous video, we have already talked about what are variables, how to manage the variables in Python, the rules of variables and all. So in this video, we will be dealing of the uh, taking of the address of the variables. So there are different methods to get the address of a particular variable in Python. So the method one is using of the id function and the second method is using of the address of function and method three is using of hexa uh, function which means um, getting of the address in hexadecimal representation. So let's check one by one. So here we will be using first method that is uh, to get the address of the variable using the id function. So here you can find uh, the syntax like um, giving the id and object. So object is nothing but that is the uh, data variable. Actually in Python, we have a concept of object and the object is nothing but that is treated as a variable and that hold the values uh, or data of a variable. Now let's see how can we get the address. So in order to get the address of a variable, first we have to define a variable. So um, we know in Python, we don't declare uh, the variables anywhere. We will be only uh, using the variables at the time of uh, the execution of the code and all that we have already discussed in the previous video. So here, let me consider a variable called na and uh, let me um, assign a value into it. So in order to assign a value into a variable, we can use the assignment operator, which is equal. And let me give the value as five. Now, if I just need to get the uh, address of the variable. So um, as of using the syntax id um, and uh, giving the uh, object or passing the uh, variable, you just need to get the address of the variable. So uh, before that, yeah, we just need to print the value in the variable. So we can just use the print function to print the value in the variable. So for that, you can just say print and now. And here, as you just um, Rent the file here, you would be able to find the result, which is five is printed in the console that is in the output output console. Now I just need to get the address of the variable. So in order to get the address of the variable here, we know we can use this index ID and inside that we can just pass the variable. So um, if I'm not using the print function, what happens is that you will not get uh, the address, which means you will get the address, but you cannot a uh, find or uh, the address will not be displayed in the output uh, console. So uh, we just need to print it on the output console. In order to print that, we have to uh, use the uh, print function, which is mandatory. So we can just uh, give the print function and later on, we can just add this syntax uh, or the function into this print function. And you can see, uh, we will get uh, the result over here, which means the address of the variable. So the address of the variable is currently shown over here. So we know a variable is a storage location inside a memory. So we can just provide multiple values into a variable and we can just print that multiple values and all. You can also assign um, multiple uh, variables for multiple values and also we have discussed all those things in our previous video. Now uh, here you can find the address of a variable. And now let me assign uh, the same value into another variable and let's find the address of that variable. So um, let me give the um, variable name as k and it has got the same value, uh, which is uh, five. And now I just need to get the address of k. So um, here we have already given the print function. So let me try to uh, give the uh, same variable or let's try to print the same thing in one line. So as you just try to print this uh, in single line here, you will get an error because we cannot pass more than one argument in print function. Okay, so in this case, you just need to only pass one argument uh, and uh, you can just pass another argument in another print. And here you can see uh, you will get the result which is same as that of um, the na, which means you will get same address as that of na. And in order to get that, you can just rent the file. So let's uh, rent the file. And here you would be able to find uh, the variable num and variable k has got same address. So from this, we can conclude that the address of the variable always depends on the 
value inside a variable. So maybe the variable name will be different. Uh, we have assigned multiple uh, variables or variable name um, and uh, that variable name will be different. But all those different variables or multiple variable has got same value. So in such case, Python will refer or point um, the same address um, in the memory, which means that we can say that the memory is more efficient and this prevents from the leakage of the data. Now, uh, let me assign um, another variable with a new value. So let's say, um, yeah, side roses, which means company side roses or uh, something like that. Or you can use any variables and assign a simple uh, value. So let me give uh, company is equal to side roses. So which is a string type. And here we can just print that. So use the print function and you can just provide it as ID and you can just pass the variable name. So variable name is treated as the object. The value inside the variable is also treated as an object. So we will discuss more regarding object through another video. Uh, and uh, here you can just pass the uh, object. So company is the object and you will get another um, address over here. So currently you got uh, a different address because the value for uh, um, the variable company is different. That's why you are getting different address for this variable. Now, let's consider uh, num is equal to um, 6 and um, uh, k is equal to 10. And let's say company is equal to 11. And all these variable has got different values. So from this, we can understand that all these variables will have different address. And um, here you can see, let me uh, click on uh, run because we just need to run the file. And here you would be able to find uh, that we have just received different address over here. And we can see that uh, currently value five is treated as garbage value. So garbage value is a technique that is used in programming language. And when a value is setting to garbage uh, value or garbage collection, the user will have no longer access to that value. So uh, here currently five is treated as a garbage value because uh, we have just assigned different values to the same variable. So in such cases, uh, the not assigning values or such values will be treated as a garbage collection or garbage value. Now let's discuss the other methods to get the address of the variables. So that is the method two by using the address of function. So let me comment all these things. And here you can see that the second method is using of address of function. So in order to do that, we have to follow a certain um, format, which is we have to follow a syntax, which is address of C int object, which means that uh, the C is a type of library or C type is a, a type of library, which is used in a, the Python and in order to get the address of a variable first we have to import uh, this particular um, data tape from the library and we are instructing uh, our system or Python is instructing the IDE uh, to get the address of a particular variable so here you can see that first we have to import the C int uh, data tape and address of data type from the library C types then only we can just get the address of the variable. So uh, here first we can just uncomment because this is the um, code that we uh, gonna just use for getting uh, the, um, I mean, uh, I mean in order to um, get uh, the address of the variable. So um, here you can find that we have assigned a value a is equal to 44. And now we just need to print uh, the address of the variable. So first, uh, as we discussed that uh, C type is a library which is used in Python. And we just need to import C int and address of from this library. Then only we can just get the address of, I mean address of the variable by using address of function. So here you can see that we have just assigned a value 44 into A. And now we just need to get the address of A. So let me uh, run the file and here you can see that we have to receive the address of A. And we have one more method which is, um, yeah, 
using of hexadecimal function. That is the third method. So let's discuss the third method. Um, for that, let me comment all these. And later on here, you can see, we have to use a syntax, which is, uh, we can uh, give this syntax as hex, uh, then we will be using the function. So function is defined using the bracket. And uh, using that, we have to provide the ID. And inside the ID function, we have to pass the object that is the name of the variable. So here, the hex is the uh, memory and hexadecimal is the representation to the address. So when you get the address uh, using the hex function, you will be uh, getting the address in a format of hexadecimal. So hexadecimal, we know uh, that will be um, represented from 0 to S because 15 is treated as F. Um, and uh, I hope you know uh, more regarding uh, hexadecimal at all, but we will have a, a discussion or a session on the um, dealing of binaries or uh, um, the numericals in um, uh, Python. And here you can see ID is used to get the uh, memory of the object. Now here we just need to get the list of hexadecimal representation. For that, let's consider a list of value. So the list of value has got um, just one, two, three, and four, and later on five. Now we just need to get the address of this um, variable A. So here we can just use the print function and we have to provide this index likewise hex of id of a. So here as you just run the file here you will be getting the uh, address of the variable in hexadecimal representation. Okay, now uh, we can also wind up the session by seeing a small example in order to clear uh, the getting of address or printing of the address uh, of a variable. Now let me um, comment all these things and let's say a is equal to 100 okay now um, let's assign uh, b is equal to a so we know the storage area has got the value 100 and we will be assigning a into b so we know uh, currently the uh, 100 is stored in the variable a and now that a will be assigned to b so B also has got uh, the value 100. Now let's print that. Print A. Here we just need to get A and uh, yeah. A then uh, we want to get uh, B also. So you can just provide like, uh, like Y and let's uh, rent the variable. And here you can see that now, if A has assigned the value 100 and B has assigned the value 100 itself. And now we just need to get uh, the address of this variable. So in order to get the address of the variable, we can just use the ID functions or address of or the hexa uh, function. Now, uh, let me just use the uh, function as ID. And let's pass that and let's see. Um, um, does it work or not? And we know we have already discussed that we can only pass one um, argument at a time while uh, um, getting the address of a variable. So here we have to set likewise. So let me just cut this and uh, uh, print again. We can provide print ID and B and you can see that now this uh, has got an error over here. So here we have uh, caught an error. This is because Python is treating as a multiple passage of arguments over here. So let's remove uh, this and here you can just uh, get the error free result. 
now let's uh, rent the file so as you just rent the file here you can see that now we have just got the same address uh, for those uh, variables because we know that actually a is a storage area and that has got a value of 100 and we have just assigned a directly into b so b is also occupied with the same value so when we assign same value into um, different variables then uh, python will treat or uh, just point into same address which means that python is more uh, uh, memory efficient and that prevents from the leakage of the memory so i hope this video clarifies your doubt on how to manage uh, or how to get the address of the variables so thank you for watching the video